or at Bourbon Quest. It is cocktail hour. Yes, sir. So, anyways, it is. Uh, this will go up on Tuesday, more than likely. I filmed it on Monday night. Uh, opened the bar this morning. Had this evening off. Uh, the rest of the week, I'm pretty much double. So, won't uh, allow a lot of time for shooting uh, because I did have the day or this evening off. Um, after I got off, I went to Home Depot, bought some supplies, and uh, just got through finished building some more shelving out in the garage uh, as we continue to kill more bottles here on Bourbon Quest. I needed to put some more shelving out there for the Bourbon Graveyard. So just completed doing that. While doing that, had a whiskey sour, finished up the shelving, wanted to shoot something tonight. Nothing really sparked my interest or came to mind on anything. So then I've had it ask, you know, be, me being a bartender, people asking me to do you know, cocktails or whatever, which, granted, as I've shared with you before, 95% of the time I'm drinking just straight bourbon neat. Um, but I do like a good uh, old fashioned now and then in Manhattan. But um, in these hot months, I, here lately, I've been drinking some whiskey sours. That's what I had while I was out there building the shelves. So I thought I'd bring you a bartender's perspective on a whiskey sour. Now, granted, I'm cheating a little bit because what I do at home but um, it's just a uh, Mr. and Mrs. T's whiskey sour mix very good mix uh, they recommend it what is it like combine three and a half ounces of this to one and a half ounces of whiskey shake whatever I like a little bit more whiskey in my cocktails than that so I do pretty much uh, we'll do four ounces of this whiskey sour mix And then, because we're building the bourbon graveyard and we've been trying to get down on some of these uh, <clears throat> infinity bottles, we'll make it the ultimate whiskey sour. So this is right at 350 bottles that have been poured into the infinity bottle. So it's like 350 bottles all in one, bro. So we're gonna do uh, four ounces of whiskey. I already put the ice in there. We're doing this out of the infinity bottle and yeah then just a little nice pour into the rocks glass perfect and then Top it off a little uh, Amarina Fabry cherry. Just want to do one, one cherry. A little juice in there. All right. And there you have it. The ultimate bourbon quest. Whiskey sour. Cheers, my friends. Mm. Ah, delicious. So there you have it. An easy, simple. Uh, yeah, I don't like to make things too complicated at home. Um, get enough of that at a bar. But yeah, I got my shaker, some whiskey sour mix, um, along with adding the whiskey, top it off with a little garnish and cherry. Um, I think it's a perfect summer cocktail. Uh, can't go wrong with it. Um, I, I still would say Old Fashioned is still my favorite. You now I gotta think of uh, like, I think I probably even, yeah, I think I'm leaning more towards this as my second favorite over a Manhattan, but probably prefer a Manhattan in the fall, winter. But this is, this whiskey sour hits the spot on a hot summer day after doing a little bit of garage work and putting up some shelving for the bourbon graveyard. Cheers, bourbon quest. Ah, that's good. Yeah, it's going to be a short and sweet video. Um, just doing a, a nice whiskey sour cocktail. Uh, let me know. Uh, well, first off, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. 
Um, and then ring that bell for notifications. That way you don't miss a damn video. Uh, smash that like button. Helps YouTube algorithms. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know what your favorite uh, whiskey cocktails are. Uh, you know, th those are probably my three standards. The Old Fashioned Manhattan Whiskey Sour. But uh, if you've watched Bourbon Quest over the last several months, we did some uh, Bourbon Marys, uh, Bourbon Ritas. Uh, and those were all freaking fantastic too. As a matter of fact, a bourbon Rita sounds pretty good right about now. But we'll finish this whiskey sour first. But yeah, leave a comment. Let me know um, what uh, what your favorite bourbon cocktail is. Uh, if you'd like to see more of those, um, let me know. Smash that like button. Like I said, leave a comment. Subscribe. And we're gonna we're gonna wrap it up. This is gonna be a very short, very sweet uh, video. I'm gonna go maybe enjoy a cigar. The rest of this uh, whiskey sour and uh, and maybe plan out some uh, future episodes um, as we go forward this has not been a lot of exciting things uh, so far on this pat on this uh, this year as far as uh, releases and stuff um, still have yet to find a, a blood oath packed eight um, I'm searching currently for the new bookers uh, the lumber yard um and a couple other things but uh but hopefully as fall is approaching uh maybe we'll be playing some catch up on those i don't know but uh this year as far as special releases have been very lackluster um but uh other than you know your traditional been able to pick up both batches of larceny barrel proof uh elijah craig barrel proofs which are all usually pretty damn good um uh, but yeah not not a lot so far this year i guess there's still pandemic issues glass shortages other you know supply chain issues anyways all right let me know what's in your glass cheers bourbon quest until next time remember I love you guys, and as always, my wish for you is that all your bourbon quest dreams come true. Ha <laughs> ha! That's a wrap, yo. Oh shit! It's not a bad. It's pretty good.